hold on, man. Something wrong with my VR headset. It ain't working right. I need to bring this thing back to Nintendo. Obi Wan plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Obi Wan plays. started with this video you already know what the deal is man you gotta give it a thumbs up bro give it that like man right there there's a like button right there all right we have a couple of dope news items for this video the first one no we're not gonna talk we're gonna talk about vr in a second there's a reason why i got this on but the first news item it seems like the xbox series x has another major advantage over the PlayStation 5. No, I'm not talking about the power. It's already been clear that 12 is greater than 10. Um, by the way, um, merch coming in April. Hey, we about to be late. Hey, um, not about the power. That's been already. That horse has been beaten to death. Hey, I could use my. Uh, remember, I used to always talk about Nintendo achievements, and I used to beat that horse to death. Now we can talk about power. We've already beaten that horse to death. It's already clear. The Xbox Series X is going to be more powerful than the PlayStation 5. But there seems to be the one area that Sony has been touting. Their solid state drive, bro. Their solid, save, their solid state drive is better than um, Microsoft's because it's faster. It could also be their Achilles heel first and this has already been clear that's not what I'm getting to but I'm, I'm getting to something else it's only gonna be a hundred eight hundred and twenty five gigabytes bro my PlayStation 4 Pro is one terabyte yes granted SSD solid-state drive the technology is different more expensive but it's still less memory than what's come that's in your previous console bro makes no sense bro but not only is it going to be less internal storage capacity than the Xbox Series X, but it looks like they're going, they didn't future proof their console. One of the things Microsoft did, they future proofed their console. With the solid state drive, it's one terabyte internal, but you could also, there's an external port in the back of the console where Seagate has mic um, partnered with Microsoft to have external <coughs> SSD drives that you could insert into the console. Check out what Sony has done. That really is going to bite them in the butt in the future. This is coming from Forbes, Forbes.com. They're saying Sony took a different approach with the whole solid state drive. And, and I'm reading from their article, so you can be like, Obi-Wan, you're making this up. Instead of designing for a custom external SSD, Sony opted to include an SSD-ready internal drive bay. There are two problems with this, according to Forbes. The first is, there currently are no SSDs to go in the bay. Bro, they created an internal bay. And right now, there are no SSDs on the market compatible with Sony's PlayStation 5. This is what it says. SSDs have to work with the PS5's advanced technology, and those SSDs don't exist yet. Mark Cerny, the PS5's lead system architect, cautioned that once these SSDs are built, they have to be vetted by Sony to make sure they fit in the bay that's provided and work with the PS5's custom technology. That's going to take time. Cerny expressed hope that this problem will be solved before the PlayStation 5 launch, but he counseled patience because it might not be. So there might not be an expandable storage option for the PlayStation 5 
at launch. But even if there is an option, this is where it really gets bad, bro. According to Forbes, the second problem is Sony decided on an internal rather than an external drive. Remember how I said Microsoft has an external bay in the back that you could just plug in the SSD? According to Forbes, not the case with Sony. People with experience working inside a computer know that adding a drive when it's an empty bay is usually a simple process. I have a PC. I added some stuff to my PC. I remember when I had, had to do I had my Elgato capture card. I have a Pro where I had to actually open the PC, screw off some parts, uh, insert it, screw it back. Pretty simple process. <laughs> However, Forbes continues, there are many people who don't have the experience and who are very reluctant to break open a console and start monkeying around with what's inside. They say Sony launched the PlayStation 4 with a similar external storage problem. The original PS4 had a 500 gigabyte internal HDD and it didn't take long before players filled it up. Sony's solution was to swap the HDD for a bigger one. The process was not that bit difficult, but many people wouldn't do it. And <laughs> when Sony finally reached a firmware update, they allowed users to connect an external HDD drive. But, so the problem is right now, Sony, according to Forbes, does not have a simple port where you can plug in an external SSD drive. You're going to have to actually open up the PlayStation 5 if you want to expand that storage capacity, which they're saying most people aren't going to want to touch their console, break something, void their warranty. So what Sony has been touting as their strength could be a problem, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Let me put back on my Labo, bro. That Fire VR, bro. The only VR that matter. Why? Because we're talking about some virtual reality. It looks like the Xbox Series X could have VR compatibility. This is a big could. Why? Microsoft is partnering with Valve and HP for a new VR headset. A coincidence? They're launching a new console and they're partnering for a new headset? It could be very likely that it could have some compatibility with the Xbox Series X. It's not going to be a matter of power. The console will be power powerful enough to run good VR games. So we'll have to see what comes of this partnership. Uh, stay tuned as news drops, anything breaking, I got you covered for that Series X news. Um, <coughs> my take on VR, the, te the games have to be there. I haven't seen any games where I'm like, whoa, I gotta play this in VR. I've said this before, bro. A Metroid Prime game and VR would be lit. And it caused me to think about Halo. Halo? Just imagine Halo Infinite in VR, bro. You're actually behind Master Chief's visor. That would be lit, bro. I would be down for some Halo Infinite in VR, bro. And so the software has to be there, bro. Last news item. The coronavirus is affecting both Microsoft and Sony's Wi-Fi boy. I know you do be like, why do you have all these gifts? There's a reason behind it. Um, they're having more users connect to the internet. So they're making some adjustments in the background. They've warned you may experience slower load speeds when downloading um, games um, when connecting to their live services, but They've assured and promised that they're going to do whatever they can to make sure the actual gameplay and performance stays up to par when playing on their services. And the last news item, and I've been saying this all along, Microsoft has come out again and reconfirmed that the Xbox Series X will not, I repeat, will not be delayed. But they're worried about future supply chains. This is coming from 
uh, what's the dude's name? Uh, Microsoft uh, CEO Satya Nadella. Um, he's saying, according to the Xbox Series X, the good thing is the supply chains are all coming back, they told CNBC. So right now, that's not the real issue. I think the bigger issue is what happens in the U.S., Europe, and in other markets around the demand side going forward. And so, <coughs> according to Nadella, they're good with the initial supply chain of the console they probably already started manufacturing it this thing is done years in advance bro well i thought the manufacturing probably about a year out but the initial supply chain seems to already be there but they're saying the coronavirus has impacted f the future supply chain so that initial run pick them consoles up bro because no guaranteed what's gonna happen um months after the consoles are launched that's where you're going to be see some supply constraints. All right, dudes. That's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, we out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later